I think we've made progress on dialysis. Um, so uh, just last week, a committee that has been set up to chair and um, implement the disbursement of the funds that were approved by Parliament has actually concluded their um, report, including the dialysis patients themselves. So we work with them. Um, they have concluded and I can confidently say that within the next few weeks we will be starting the disbursement to the various facilities. I can give you the details which is uh, obviously the fact that the, the, this one was for the needy. The, what was approved by Parliament for, for the needy. I know Parliament has also increased the cost of dialysis for um, um, I mean the healthcare providers, which is they've taken it to 491. But if you look at Confuanoche, uh, sorry, Kolebu, um, we have a philanthropist supporting majority of them with about 380 Ghana cities. So the difference is about 100, 111. Uh, so the other uh, hospitals do not obviously do they do not have that support. So we're looking at supplementing for both patients from Kolebu, uh, Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital and uh, Central Region um, in such a way that for Kolebu, because they do get that support, we will be able to bridge a gap for them. Then we support um, our patients also from uh, Cape Coast and um, uh, uh, Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital. But the fact is, they do eight cycles per month. We cannot do all the eight, so we are looking at an average or maybe below average. Um, we yet to, obviously, like I said, the report is ready, so it's just to be taken to the board for final consideration. Then the implementation starts.